Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to episode number 42 of my Lazio Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. And here we've got the youth intake, but before we check it out, you will notice I've got a skin. It's a new skin and it's a very different skin. It's something I need for my videos at this point in time. And I may also have started recording my new Manchester United series already. So obviously I've changed skins. Uh, so I can debut it from the start because I really want that series to be a good one and really get into it. Uh, that will last me up until FIFA 17, so that can come quick. I can really enjoy what I'm recording. Uh, but yeah, it's that, that skin right there, FM16 uh, Flut Skin uh, version 2. It's a, a dark version. Of course, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it feels it makes it feel like a fresh game, a new game almost, or the game has got an update. And that's what I feel like my videos need, like for you guys to be more interested, uh, for more of you to watch, to more for more of you to drop a like on the video as well, just all that different stuff. I needed to freshen it up uh, quite a bit, which I think this skin does. So we'll check out uh, the region intakes and the highest potential guys, not really good anyway, but again, not really high on the list of my concerns right now but you can see yeah, it's very different i like how the attributes look here they've just got a different color like the backgrounds again whether you like it or not it still makes it look different and look how many different things there are here you can check out it's absolutely amazing you can see the whole information probably all features for a player profile and just yeah all this other stuff you can you yeah, take a look at everything right there so it makes it look really good I wouldn't mind, obviously a few changes, but yeah, FM17, if it looks in a similar way to this skin, uh, yeah, it could almost feel like the new version of the game. And here's this other guy, uh, David Miozzi, uh, his eyes look pretty crazy. I like how the player has that uh, background as well, how it looks. Uh, you can change it as well, but I think I'll leave it right there. Um, I, think it looks, um, I think it looks pretty nice. But anyway... Go back to the attributes. Uh, he's got 14 passing and what? 14 vision. So, I'm just thinking, oh, he could be a really good player, but again, it's not really uh, going to make a difference uh, because, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be playing beyond this season, but at least I showed you, you know, the uh, couple of the youth players. But yeah, they're not going to be making an impact, of course. And this is the guy we got on the youth intake in the previous season. He looks pretty decent, does he? Look at that beard, man. It looks at, he looks his profile looks ace. He just looks like he's gonna yeah come through and develop as a really good player. He's got high determination as well. Yeah, he's like an excellent regen. You can see his season stats there. Like, oh my, oh, like all of these look so good. What I'm looking at right now it looks amazing. I don't know, maybe I'm getting too excited uh, at like, how good it actually is. but And you can see left foot, right foot. Man, it looks sick. Drop a like if you enjoy this skin, man. It, it's so good. And guys, if you're wondering what this is right here, this is the match preview for our game against Chesena. Look at the depth. Look at all the information. You can see the fixtures, team news, top goal scorers. I don't think I've even checked that out this season. And it's right there for you just to see. Uh, Belotti is one away from Mandzukic. Wow. This part looks so nice. I haven't gone into the game yet. I wonder what that looks like. And also, if you're wondering what background I have, it's 60% on one of the blue ones. Which one is it? I think, I think it's the second one. Yeah, second one there. Either way, I like that kind of dark, re like when it's blue, but I put it on a dark setting, well, 60%. Uh, so you can still see a bit of the blue, but yeah, mostly dark as I prefer it like that. And you see Dusan Basta with the assist, 10 for the season. Second most assist in the league. How about that? Uh, also, Luca Bitante. How does he appear? Mm, not Doesn't look so amazing. Uh, he's, yeah, doesn't really have high attributes, but he's been a very creative player this season. Of course, there is going to be some slight little bugs. You can see the appearances, see that 24, it's a bit high, but yeah, like, then I just won't look at that. <laughs> uh, you, you can see, like, look at this, look there, it shows their key player, um, Gonzalez, uh, Giancarlo Gonzalez, uh, oh, see, just something little like that, that used to throw me off. Uh, like, but yeah, does anyone know if you can fix that personally by yourself, like with a skin? But yeah, like apart from uh, apart from that kind of thing, everything out is it on every single player like that? Do sound basta? See, yeah, then it's oh, it's on the yeah, it's it's like the, just the season stat like that. 
that I used to probably get OCD about, but recently, uh, yeah, I'm just I'll I'll say I don't have that anymore, that kind of thing. But <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's not that not that crucial, that kind of uh, little detail. But this is going to be the team we're going to play with. Uh, this is going to be starting 11. Uh, Belotti's going to be starting. Griezmann's back in, of course. You know the game we have against Everton is coming up next. I'm wondering if we are going to go with Mares, I think, instead of Zivkovic. We'll go, yeah, instead of Zivkovic. But, yeah, apart from that, is a fairly strong team. But then, yeah, I'm wondering about the central midfielders to keep them for the next game. Especially Parolo, 91%. Let's bring on Danilo Cataldi. Can we switch the role, see if he's a bit better there? Okay, he is Cataldi. I see. I do see him better as a deep line playmaker still, so we will go with that. But then we've got Onazi. Do we bring Onazi as well? And then we just take Billier off because, you know, he can yeah play that role. He's 100 there. Uh, he's got the 100% uh, for the box-to-box -box midfielder, so uh, that is good. Uh, yeah, I think oh, Sigurdsson. Do we rest Sigurdsson? Do we bring in Mar Drussi? Oh, I've got to get some form into him. So, we made even more changes. And even Dusan Basta. And, yeah, Patrick, because we need our best team to be playing. Oh, I need to beat Everton, that's for sure. Uh, Stefan Radu is suspended for this game, but we'll get into it now. And so, guys, just something I can do if I do want to show you the season stats, even though you can really tell what it is. I can click onto the season stats, which I don't do too often. You can see uh, kind of a graphical representation as well, and then everything is 100% uh, clear like that. Like for the league appearances, it's all even. So you can see a lot of information there. So if I ever want to do that, I may do that every so often for some players. I want to see how they're going. So... Yeah, I can always think like that just to clear my mind. If something, yeah, just to fix it. Uh, there's always a way, 100%. So, we'll go to Team Talk right now. You can see how it looks in the game. It looks, yeah, pretty solid as well. I want to ignore... Oh, why would there be recent praise? See, now I've almost forgot. I'm focusing on, like, the skin and stuff and how it looks. But, like, I forgot about we've been doing poorly because I'm recording this on a new day now. So, ooh, i got to say, expect... But a, nothing but a win from this match. Change. Oh, it shows it goes plus one. The, the, is that actually... Is it? Can it go plus two to another reaction? I don't know. See, just the little, little thing like that. That's so cool, man. And we'll go mentality and attacking. It does actually almost feel like a new game. It, like, it feels like a beta of a new game. Like maybe with like one little bug here and there. So yeah, it does make it feel like that. It feels like the beta of FM17. But now is when I have to focus definitely on the game. Let's see. Oh, the text is slightly bigger as well. So that's good. Makes easier to read. Auburn, Griezmann, Cataldi, Onazi. Gameplay, it seems a bit more smoother as well. Maybe the other skin made it lag slightly. I don't know. Drussi. Drussi. Mares. Drussi, what a goal! See, that looks clean. That, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell it on the video. I guess we'll see. Drop in the comments if you will notice it. Uh, but yeah, it seems a bit more crisp, uh, the gameplay. Either way. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if it's because of the skin. It, it changed something, obviously. But but yeah, it looks a bit, more, a bit more better and a bit more quicker. And let's see on the 3D as well. Okay, good pass to Mares. It's very slow. This is very slow motion, but <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what you get with 3D uh, replays. And that's going to be half time, just like that. That came really quickly. Uh, I think, yeah, the game process is even quicker, like I said, with this. So that's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, we'll say don't get complacent out there. Uh, we don't want to concede a goal and see the players going up in their reactions by one. Very nice. So now, have a chance from the back. Onazi. Oh, I just gave away the ball so badly. See, we're still doing that change of skin doesn't make your <laughs> team pass better that's for sure oh puts it in puts it in and it's a goal and doesn't stop us conceding goals against players who scored their first goal of the season as well so that's a bit disappointing Juventus also drew their last game uh, they played 27th game of the season uh, they came a draw so luckily luckily for that if we don't win but <laughs> oh no it's back to the same old now but there is a highlight right away. We've got to clear this. Griezmann, come on. Try and win that. It's Bianco. Force them back. No. Not another goal. Nah. Nah. Pornhub.com slash logout. Oh, oh, my God. 
we started this game so well and we are creating a fair share of chances. We've had like seven shots off target. Oh my god, I'm forgetting to make subs. Time, it's like going... <laughs> like that's not a... Uh, that's definitely not a lie. It's going so fast. Wow, okay. Belotti off. Remy on. He's very poor morale though. That is not good. But if he score, comes on and scores... Oh, it's going to be hard to win from here, though, if we're being honest. What are we going to do? Mara's off, Zivkovic. We're just having poor, poor period, unfortunately. And we we aren't probably going to win the title now. Juventus, it's only going to be a matter of time they win uh, their game when we drop points. Uh, we'll make those changes. Instructions. Defensive line will go higher. Go route one. Be more expressive now. Again, we'll change up the crosses. We'll go whip crosses. See, uh, roam from positions. See, I'm just going by instinct what I think is the best options, regardless if they are or not. I don't I don't know. Like, I've never been the best tactically, I'll be honest, even though I've played the game eight years. I haven't played full manager eight years. I don't know, a long time. Since, like, FMO7, FMO8. That's when I really got into it. But, yeah, like, I can create a decent tactic. Like, obviously, you've seen we've done well with Lazio, but not, like, amazing, like, flawless when I make changes as well. And it looks like we're going to fall to... Oh, my God. We're going to lose against a team that's 18th. It's just... It's not happening. It's just as we're coming to the end of this save and this series, uh, it's just going to pan out this way, I guess. And Lucas Billia. And that's one thing I want to say as well. Like, I told you I was going to... Almost at the start of this this season, and when I was going well as well, I told you I was going to stop um, this save once at the end of the second season, and people have the proneness, I'll say, to always say that I'm stopping when I start losing or something, and I lose interest because of that. It's n it's not because of that, man. Um, yeah. Can we get a late goal? Maybe to make it be I don't know, just an okay result. Can we get it? Yes, we avoid defeat. We avoid defeat. Yeah. There we go. That's a good sign. So you can't say I lost against a team in the relegation zone. <laughs> That's a good thing. But yeah, like I said, um, I told you guys I was going to stop this save um, and finish this save when I finished the second season uh, when we were dominating earlier in the season as well. So yeah, uh, remember that as we score late. Very, very late. How about that? I'm used to pressing something there to yeah skip the highlight. Anyway, uh, I think that will be it though. No time to score a winner. Would you call this getting out of jail? In a way, yes. In a way, but we should be getting a much better result and somehow we're still uh, top of the table, but we're not in good form at all. It's just not a good enough uh, performance once more. They get good reactions. I wonder if that plus one, is it possible? I don't think it's just there. It's either plus one or negative one or stay the same, but we're still clinging on to top position. But now, guys, here's the match preview for the big game against Everton in the Europa League. And again, you can see there it says Everton lead 3-2 on aggregate. But I think, in a way, that favours us. We've got two away goals. If we can keep a clean sheet, especially if we can defend well, we have a real chance here. So we'll go to the team selection. You'll notice they've got the highest goal scorer and the highest assist uh, player with uh, Lukaku and Leighton Baines. And again, there's uh, something I have to change, obviously. Uh, Neguera is going to have to come on uh, for Griezmann. Illegible, unfortunately, uh, because of reasons, reasons we've already mentioned. And also, I'm just going to click on one play. I'm not sure who. It <laughs> doesn't matter who I click on. I'll just click on Bel uh, Belotti again. And with the season stats uh, thing I mentioned, I was able to change that. There's two options. If the other one... If you have this skin, if you download the skin and, and it's like that, uh, for some players it's not actually uh, just yeah, one of those things, but you change it to the other season stats, which basically it shows the same things just in a different way, and yeah, no problems whatsoever. There's always a way around it. There you go. So, we'll go back now, and you can see 17 goals. That's so, so good, Belotti. You're going to step... Oh, come on, man. Do it in this game. Last five games, you haven't been that good. Can this be the game where we get back to our early season form? I hope so. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking for a second what to do there because, yeah, again, I've forgotten to 
get rid of the substitute. So who do we get rid of? Savic should be pretty easy. Savic, Naguera, or Maori maybe, Patrick, Lulic. I'm not really sure. Do we leave a centre back on the bench? I think we'll take off Cataldi. If he wants to disappear, there he goes. I should have done this before, but <laughs> anyway. Zivkovic has to be on the bench for me. Remy definitely has to. Like, another striker to bring on. Gentiletti. Maybe Gentiletti instead of Patrick. I think, yeah. And then then we can take Patrick off. Lulic and Onazi. Well, we have one more position to select. So, we've got a defender... Uh, we've got like attacking player, like left wing or attacking midfield. Then we've got right winger or left wing. Mary center attacking midfield. We've got a striker. Yeah. Maybe just maybe just Lulic. No, actually, because Gentiletti could actually play left back. He has it like competent or something like that. So Patrick, in case, yeah, Basta gets injured or whatever. I think that, that has to be it. Come on. And guys, look at the formation they're playing. That looks defensive. Is that their natural formation? I don't know. It looks really defensive. Like two defensive midfielders. They, that's like, we're going to be allowed to attack them. I think so. And they're good attacking wingers. They're playing like as wide midfielders. So, interesting. Very interesting. They got Lukaku up top. Obviously, still dangerous. We're going to have to say assertively. We definitely owe Everton what happened in the last match. But again, with two away goals. Oh, I can go plus two. So now I know for sure. Look to gain confidence is better than seem motivated. I never realized that ever. And you probably wouldn't off as well. Apparently, I'm not sure if that's true or not. If the person made the skin. But is that legit? Look to gain confidence is a better reaction than look motivated. Or uh, he got both of them. Because it said two. So, maybe that's what it means. <laughs> Either way, perfect team talk. Funes Mori, he's a very good centre-back. Delafu, oh, he's just dribbling past. Bessic, win the header, Radu. But header it to your player, not the opposition. Radu wins it back, well done. Oh no, I see something coming. It's Barkley, it's Morales, all these big names, and they finish, and now they've got an away goal and a two-goal lead. Oh, come on. This is at home. I say it's going to be tough from here, but we're at home in Rome. Do something. Come on. 59% possession. And they've got 41% and one shot on target, man. Come on. That's... Uh, why? Okay, come on. We've got to take this chance from a corner. Mares, Sigurdsson. Mares, Parolo, smash it. Back to Sigurdsson. Come on, how many chances do we need? Man, 11 shots already. <laughs> it's going to be one of those games. How many of these games, when I say, oh, it's one of these games again, but how many of them are we going to have where we're dominating and it's just not going to happen? We need two goals now. I thought when we needed the one goal, you know, it would be all right. I thought maybe we could win 1-0 or something. But, yeah, it's just the games are continuing Show me something else in the second half. It doesn't matter if we get a good reaction or not. Philippe Anderson. Oh, just imagine Griezmann. Now it's Sigurdsson in all this space. Sigurdsson. Baines defense. Oh, Mares! You dumb fuck! You keep running, you could have got the ball. And what's the odds they're going to score now? How about that? How crap? He, you see, he was running to get the ball. Then he went the other way. What's that? That's dumb. This, oh, man. It's, and that's the game. That's not the player, because Mares is a great player. The, just why does the game make him make that decision? That's that's just dumb. And that was... Oh, far, man. It just... It makes me frustrated. Mares Over the top. Can we stay in the game with the goal to Bellotti? Of course, we'll be saved after we've had 19 shots to three. So, guys, we need three goals. That's simply not going to happen. You can't see it happening here. It's, it's just simply not going to happen. Belotti, come off for Remy. And, yeah, like, I know. Yeah, man. Sigurdsson, he's actually had a good game. Mares, I'm, I'm not blaming Mares as such, man. It's just like, 
I'm definitely not blaming Mares. He he's a good player. It's just the game is making him play retardedly. Seriously, it's just it's ridiculous. Make those changes, but what we're we gonna do? I think I'm actually I'm gonna record. <laughs> it might be hard to record the rest of episodes today, man. But I just want to get like finish this series, man. It's just I've had saves like this where it just goes from bad to worse. So the bad keeps coming, and it's just like yeah, you feel powerless. You've done you do everything that goes well for you. You've done in the past, and it just it doesn't click anymore, unfortunately. Okay, well, we probably have to score from this highlight now. It would be an amazing comeback if we do. Come on, Remy. This has to be it. Remy, Sigurdsson, goals. Come on. We have to win this. It will be totally undeserved if Everton do. They've had two shots on target and three in total. And they've got, like, seriously, there's a point when you've got to realise what is happening. You could always say, oh, he's blaming the game. Ooh, I want to complain and leave a negative comment. Sure. You can do what you want, seriously. But at the end of the day, you can look how much uh, we dominated, to be fair. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's like, yeah, what else am I going to do? What other change am I going to make? It, they're just teasing me now to give me some hope. If we get two goals, we advance. Uh, uh, I don't even know, man. Philippe Anderson. Let's just bring on Drussy. What can I do? What else can I do, man? <laughs> Maybe change the ch the team shape. Let's go very fluid. Just I'm just throwing things out here. I'm not even doing a change that I want to do. I'm just trying to do something different for the sake of it. Then hopefully, yeah, something, yeah, something will happen. Something will click in the game. I don't know. Maybe I hit that mag like that change that might work. Who knows? Come on, man. Zivkovic. Sigurdsson. Could this be a chance? Come on, get it, Radu. Maybe sl a very slight hope if we score from here, but I don't think I don't think this is going to be a goal at all. We don't even have the ball. It's Barkley, Lukaku, Rugani. Of course, it's going to be a free kick. Is that going to be a yellow card? Surprise me and give him a red. <laughs> See, I, I could feel that coming. Oh, just give him a red for the lols, man. That's not a red card. Uh, you should be convinced now, though. You should be con... Uh, what's happening, man? You should be convinced now, man. This is just... This save is AIDS right now. <laughs> Seriously. You can't... What else? What can you explain it as? We completely dominated this game. Three clear-cut chances to one. 24 shots in total. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying the truth, and that is the truth. To be fair, like... Uh, Radu, Parolo, Sigurdsson, there you go. We never stood a chance. We, we're in this bad form, but yeah, just we never stood a chance, even though we played an amazing game. I just say it's unacceptable to have lost on aggregate, get good reactions, and somehow try and win the league. But, like, we still top. Say, if we win every game for the season, we'll win the league. But you know that's gonna, not going to happen. That's not going to happen. And the referee, he should move the A, uh, the E and Y out of his name. So, guys, the match review. Um, we'll read the title, or as it should read anyway. Uh, Football Manager 2016 helps Everton past Lazio. Uh, so, guys, here it's gone from bad to worse for our next game. Dusan Basta is injured. He just he got the flu. Like, how about that? Just the flu <laughs> out of nowhere. And Patrick is suspended. So we don't even have a right back at all. We don't have a right back to play. We we can bring all the substitutes on we like. Naguera, who's a defensive player. Cataldi, I don't think we have anyone to play right back. It's just crazy right now what's happening. Ugh. I'll rather play... No, I'm not, I'm not going to play him, but just put, yeah, Kishner on the bench. Um, yeah, Ravel Morrison is just completely unhappy right now. But, yeah, don't need to worry about him. Griezmann, hopefully that will be the difference. He, that he has to be the difference. Andrea Bellotti, just got to keep the faith in him because you know he can have a good game. Mares, let's bring on Zivkovic. Is there, is there anyone else? 
There's yeah, Basta. He has to get removed here. But who's gonna play right back? We haven't got. There's no. There's no position there. No one can play that defense right. No one can play there well. Gentiletti is probably the best rated. Is he? He's he has orange dots. Who has better than orange dots? Does Willie Auburn have any dots at right back? We're looking for a dot. We find a dot. It's competent. That's probably going to be the best. So Auburn, he's going to go across to right back. And then Gentiletti's going to come in for him. See, that looks absolutely terrible, that rating. But he won't be bad as that suggests. That looks like he's going to be like so bad. It's like 50% for uh, the rollability or the RDS. What? Suitable for roll and duty. Okay, roll and duty. And then rollability. It just, it's the lowest it can be. He's not going to be that bad. He's competent in that role. Huh. Anyway, do we have another... Okay, we'll bring Ravel. Just have all uh, positions covered there. Definitely won't use him, though. Uh, Parolo. We just we have to play our best players to get... We're playing against Cagliari here. We can't lose. We've got to win all that. I'm just going to play our best team, really. To me, like Lulic and Radu, they're the same. So we just rotate for the best, uh, best condition, all of that. But... How has... Who else do we have? Onazi is suspended, so I thought we could bring him on. No, nah, we just roll with Parolo and Bilia. Let's go into the game. Okay, Di Silvestri on the ball now. Over the top. What, is he going to get a cross in? Lulic couldn't make the challenge. I'm still, like, petrified of conceding a goal now. I'm just almost expecting it to happen. Our form has been horrendous. Gorkouf. We challenge. Can we score a late goal in the half? Zivkovic. Come on, Sigurdsson. Zivkovic now. It's, just, it's a poor pass. It's another poor pass where we give away possession. And could they create from it? It's Berisha. It's saved by Rulli. Rulli's been a bit disappointing in this period as well when we've been... like, Because we've lost games and drawn games when we haven't like conceded sh so many shots on target. So he's been below par. Can we? Can Oh! No foul for that. Okay. Half time, nil nil. At least we haven't conceded. That is the plus. But we'll go aggressively and if Harpen flees with what I've seen from the team. Again, good reactions. But it seems at this point, it doesn't matter if I do a good team talk or not. And Juventus score a second now as well, while we don't look like uh, scoring. Or getting, like, I feel from these stats, we should at least have a goal. At four on target, it's not so much, but two clicker chances, come on. So now we'll take off this so it doesn't interfere with our uh, player-specific stats. And do we even need that one there? I don't know, because it's just so nothing's interfering. That might be better, because you can see it anyway, the table. D Silvestri. Uh... I don't even... I, I can't react. I, it's ha Getting these red cards is happening too much. I can't even react anymore. We have to go three centre-backs. Last time I did that, uh, I, I can't even remember exactly what someone said. Someone complained about something, but honestly, I can't even remember. That's how much... <laughs> how much I care about comments sometimes. I just forget. Uh, now they've got that free kick. Are they going to score now? Muru. And it's a penalty. There you go. Again, like I said, it's just all the same thing over again. So, I don't need to say anything. It's just, it's just whatever, man. Let's just see what they do with it. D. Gennaro. Aha, what a shit cunt. Surprisingly, we can still win this game. It's unlikely. There's a chance. Griezmann, come on. Come on. Can we do it? Gentiletti. Bilia. Griezmann. Come on. Come on, Griezmann. What a fucking hungry cunt, man. Griezmann. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to... Because he's... Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm... I'm past being mad now. I don't even care, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care what happens anymore. That's why I didn't really react at all to the penalty or uh, the red card. It's just, it's just whatever. 
So now we are officially going to be below Juventus. And you cannot see us recovering. But the thing is, even if we just finish second, that's still a pretty good season for Lazio. So, again, you can't really say, like, I failed and stuff. Because I will have a very good season, finishing second in the league, most definitely. Uh, to me, anyway. To me, that's what's important. There we go. That's all over. And yeah, sorry again if I lack interest in my voice, but the game is really is just... It's it's not fun for me. Lucky we're heading towards the end of the season. Almost I'm considering... Just because, you know, you see how it's going. The games are just going to keep going like this. We're not going to... We're not going to win games this way, and Juventus are going to keep winning, so I may play a few off-camera just so I can actually start that United one quicker, especially because I want to start it on the weekend. Uh, it's good to start a new series on the weekend because most people watch on weekends, but huh, you can't blame me, you have to say. You can be a bit disappointed with my reactions to it, but you can't blame me with all these games, how they're panning out. Just the same, same crap after the same crap after the same crap. So, guys, uh, this will be the end of this episode. <laughs> Juventus have overtaken us now. I hope you did enjoy it. Maybe the first couple games, at least, was a bit exciting. That last one, it was just... To me, it was depressing. <laughs> to me, it was depressing. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, I may consider just um, yeah playing this season off camera now as I've got only... What? Do I have a... Okay, the cup game is next. Maybe we'll have a crack at that. It's the first leg of it as well. So, next two... We'll see how they play out anyway. We'll see how, yeah, the next one goes. And uh, the season's still coming towards the end. Well, it's like 10 league games of the rest of the season. But look, look at this. We can't, we can't win games right now. We're still scoring goals. Last game, we didn't score a goal. It was a better defensive performance, but we just couldn't create anything. But, yeah, it's the way it goes. Hope you like the skin anyway, because this is what I'll be using on my Manchester United one. That will be actually being recorded right now, the first few episodes. So, yeah, I'll have... Um, like a backlog um, of uploads. So that will be a really good series. Like I said, up until FIFA 17, that's when the real stuff is going to get going uh, for the channel. But hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.